Hey guys, a quick video on how to install helper springs or bags, depends how you look at it. They're bags, but they're called springs. I don't know. This is an 07 Toyota 4Runner V8. Obviously you want those springs to raise the ass of your 4Runner because it, you know, if you're towing a heavy thing like a car, for example, which I will be, the car, the, the Toyota seems to sag a bit too much. It's not an issue going straight on the highway, but it is an issue getting up my driveway and, and off of it because it, the hitch, the lower part of the hitch scrapes and it's not good. I guess, right, basically I get stuck. So I had to do something about it. So this is not a step-by-step -step installation how-to. It's so simple. Throw out the instructions basically because you don't need to take anything apart. So this is it, coil springs. It's support for your coil springs. Okay, so it's, it's really it's bags. It, this is how it looks more or less. Let's see, instructions. Okay, these are the bump stops that I had to cut out, which I did in frame. And okay, so this is what comes with it. I also did order an extra T connector, so I did not have to use this guy here. So you know, when I inflate them, they're they inflate both the, at the same time. Okay, so you get four washers, two of these guys, and an extra T. I think it was like ten, fifteen dollars. I paid hundred, hundred five, hundred and ten dollars for the whole thing. Okay, anyways, this is, these are the bump stops, you're gonna see uh, later on what I mean. So, this is what you have to, you have to cut out four stacks uh, of the bump stops, you know, one on each side, obviously. So, what I've done was, because this part you cannot, if, I had to cut it in half because the whole thing would not fit through the spring. Okay, so I cut the whole thing right here using a long sharp knife it's got to be sharp the knife has to be sharp and then once this was cut i turned it kind of sideways shoved half of it through the spring it got stuck so i cut this and it just went through no issues so basically this is what you're cutting the four stacks okay you want to make sure that the upper part of the bump is cut, you know, straight, no bumps on it on, and whatnot. Just make sure you're, you're, you're doing a one clean cut you can use. I used Windex, but you can use water with soap just to make your job easier so the blade does not catch on the rubber, okay? And this is basically how it looks right now, okay? You're going to fish a line. There's a hole through the, the rubber uh, bump stop and through a, like this metal cap on top and that's that's basically it okay these are the instructions the rest is just other languages so here they tell you on the first page to remove the, sw the sway bar links the lower bolts of the shocks the whatever this bar is called none of it let's go look at it obviously you want to raise it all the way up well, as you know, as far as you can. And here they are. You can see this is the cut bump stop. I still didn't lower the vehicle because I'm waiting for some paint to dry. But this is it. Now, because this airbag moves, you can look at this, this line over here. See that move? As I'm gonna, you know, do oil changes and whatnot, I'm gonna obviously raise the vehicle so i don't know if this bag is gonna stay up when i raise it or it's gonna move but there's they do provide these sleeves you can here you can see this guy make sure you use that sleeve so it kind of sticks out actually mine i think mine just came out out of the hole i'm gonna fish it through so it shows a little bit over here i'm probably gonna maybe try and glue it or something I don't know yeah it is out anyways let's look at the other side the right side is a bit more well there's less room in here okay so you get the idea okay 
So what I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna fish the that sleeve actually came out too. Yeah, it did. Okay, well never mind. I'm gonna just leave them once I push the sleeve back through, I'm gonna leave it up. Okay, so you can see I ran it above this heat shield here from the away from the exhaust. It's kind of loose. There is a zip tie here. Okay, and this is how it looks. I still gotta cut these tails off the zip ties. But this is the T connector and it goes here. Okay, and that's gonna go right through here. I'm waiting for this paint to dry. This guy here. And that's just gonna go through the other side. So that's where my inflator nozzle valve, whatever it is going to be. And this is the rest of the stuff. So how, so how did I put them in there? Easy. I took the airbag, okay, squashed it, held my thumb on the hole, so now it's kind of vacuumed, okay, and I just, after I ran the line through and obviously cut the bump stop, that's when I did it, so once, once the bag is in, you know, kind of bottom first and then shove in, holding your thumb on it, uh, shove in the, the top part of the bag in, just squeezing it through, okay, common sense. Uh, but you gotta do the lines and the bump stops, cut the bump stops first. And then I let go of your, of the, you know, pull your uh, thumb away and it's just gonna inflate on its own. And voila, no parts removed at all. Easy, really. I did remove the spare. All right, once that's dry, I'm gonna, we're gonna see how it works. I forgot to show you how the driver's line is ran. So both lines just go through and up all the way here, above, right, you know, as close to the floor as possible, zip tied wherever you can. I've zip tied mine. As, make sure that both of the lines are somewhat equal in length, okay? And then you can uh, run the T, you know, meet the, meet, it, meet the two in the middle, run the one, uh, whatever you want. I was actually thinking, you know, you can do, put a hole here, here, anywhere, really zip tie to the hitch, whatever. I was actually thinking of putting it right here. There's actually room right behind this. You could drill a hole here somewhere, have it stick out, maybe put some washers behind it so it doesn't stick as far out as as it would, but there is room right over here. Kind of a neat spot, hidden away from the weather. Guys, this is what we got right now. As you can see, that's pretty low. I know the trailer is not ideal. It is level, but it's just dipped on the left side. Let's see what happens if I put some pressure in the bags. Let's say 20 PSI. Thirty psi. Thirty psi. About half an inch. Okay, so I guess it's. I'm not set up ideally, you know. Obviously, I gotta pull out the trailer and make it level and whatnot. I do have the weight distribution kit. I do need to remove this box move these back a little probably four inches because right now they're too close that's going to also raise that up a little bit and uh, i'm going to raise the box so i can actually you know weld weld something over here so it's going to sit higher so these can be moved back so yeah you do need this stuff guys to be able to haul cars with a with a forerunner uh, right now this setup with the car is about 5300 pounds more or less and I feel like I should grind this down just a bit get another inch of clearance you know like I said before going straight is not an issue just going over high dips getting up driveways and stuff like that okay guys thanks for watching see you soon